Hello, I'm Haritesh and uh, I joined Fiji through I joined Fiji uh, in the Pinnacle Toya Integrated Program through Big Bang Edge and I got a scholarship of 90%. Initially, since it was the time of pandemic and uh, it was online, so initially it was a little bit difficult. Even though I was put into a batch which had people who joined in 11th, there were some people who knew uh, what was being what was being thought beforehand. So. I like initially felt a little bit overwhelmed and uh, saw J as something which is a little bit daunting. But then, uh, with the support of my family and of course the help of my teachers, I kept going. I put in the work and eventually I was able to get to a point where I fully understood what was being taught in class. I was I also started performing. Uh, well in tests as well. We were the last batch to give KVPI actually because from the next year it was going to be it was replaced by Inspire uh, but at that point of time we didn't know it. Yeah uh, I gave my KVPY and I felt that whatever I didn't put any external effort when it comes to maths, physics and chemistry and I felt whatever which was taught in class was sufficient when it came to chemistry, physics and math. I just went through the formulae and uh, just revise the memory related topics when it came to chemistry. But uh, biology was my weak link when it came to KVPY. Uh, I just studied a little bit whatever I could like uh, towards the end of KVPY, which wasn't a really good idea in hindsight, but then again, uh, yeah. So I cleared KVPY with a rank of 234. I also cleared the first stage of NSEC, which again, I feel uh, was sufficient from whatever I was taught in class. Yeah, uh, soon after the KVPI results came, uh, soon after the KVPI results came, I felt it, the result gave me a boost of confidence because even though I was doing well in tests which were conducted by Fiji, since KVPI was a national exam and that I was able to do good at it, gave me a little bit a uh, boost of confidence, I'd say, in my you know journey towards preparing for JE. When it came to, I also had this initial problem where uh, since till 10th, I saw physics as something which was theoretical. I didn't see it as something which involved logics and stuff. So initially, when it when I start preparing for JE, I found physics to be a little bit difficult. I didn't understand some of the stuff which was being which was being taught. So physics wasn't a subject which I particularly liked. But then again, my teacher, he was able to completely turn it around. And after a point of time, I started enjoying uh, doing physics as well. Uh, the teachers which I had were really good teachers. And they made sure that all the concepts were clear. And no doubt was left unanswered for the most part. And whatever tests that we wrote, we wrote a, we wrote a lot of tests. Like face tests, chap test, RDX, AATS, AR square TS. We wrote a lot of tests. And the faculty, the teachers made sure that, uh, for the most part, that we discussed, we, we, had, group, we had group discussions in class of the, these tests that we wrote. And we also, uh, we also were given packages, archives, GMPs, in which uh, the teachers allocated a particular day in which we would all you know, finish a particular you know, topic, a particular package. And we'd have a group discussion and you know, all doubts were answered again. Initially, uh, when when the transition, you know, when we transitioned into offline towards the end of, you know, towards the beginning of 12th, for the past uh, six months, I feel my peer group has helped me in many ways. Uh, sometimes there, there'd be times in which I simply wouldn't see the, straight, the straightforward path, which is right there in front of my eyes. I I'll, uh, I'll try all sorts of stuff, which which you know, um, which is just the hard way of getting to the final answer. But then again, my friends, they'll see right through it and just point it out to me without. And without this, I I'd, I'd be you know struggling with that for you know 30 minutes or 35 minutes or something. So I feel my friends help me in that way. I feel test analysis uh, is something which should be given a lot more credit. Uh, it deserves a lot more credit than it is given and uh, I've heard this from a lot of my seniors and teachers as well and uh, I feel 
writing down my mistakes even if it was just a word or two you know for example if i made a silly mistake i'll simply write it as silly mistake and i feel that this um this particular thing has helped me for the most part again uh, to not repeat that particular thing in the following tests initially it's wise to you know focus on your weak areas and you know strengthen the areas in which you know you feel you're not confident but towards the end of the exam it's at the end of the day uh, it's the overall mark that counts so this is something which my teacher told me i was uh, really good at chemistry but uh, i struggled a little bit in math so initially he told um, me to focus on like i what the mistake that i did was i was focus focusing on math too much towards the end of my preparation and he pointed this out and told me that told me to focus on chemistry as well because i was losing out on my chemistry uh, to fo- he told me to focus on chemistry as well and finally in the final exam it was chemistry which is which boosted my score you know uh, to a huge extent one more thing that i like to tell the my juniors is that i feel whatever the teachers teach in class is sufficient more than sufficient for you know clearing j and to get the concepts right so if you know if someone feels uh, that they didn't get a particular concept get a particular topic try to think over it try to figure out what's causing the confusion and then uh, reach out to your faculty member and <clears throat> seek out help seek out external help only when it's absolutely necessary because remember it comes at the cost of self uh, self study time and self study time should never be compromised and of course i'd advise you know to stick to the syllabus uh, that j has you know kept it. and uh, i also feel that the system which is in place at fiji is really systematic well thought out that you know topics are distributed according you know so that there's no there's not too much pressure on the student at a particular point of time so i like to end this on a thank you note i am extremely grateful to my parents my sister and my grandfather who were who supported me through you know through every like every step of this journey and to my teachers who who taught me everything that you know i i know today without whom i wouldn't be here and also of course to fiji which without without these people this particular milestone would have been extremely difficult to reach they've had a huge part in this particular journey and that's a huge part in in my achievement as well